AOL is pushing to grab more TV ad dollars, and we got Keech Hagee making her debut on Digits, joining us now on the set. Thank you very much. Um, so how is AOL doing this, and how important it is, is it for them to do that? Well, AOL is trying to grab money away from TV spending right now because mm. on online video is blowing up. It's a really big um, growth area for media. About a third, We've noticed. We've yes, noticed that. As I think we might notice here, about a third of people in the country are watching some kind of online video every day. But the advertising spending is just not catching up. It's a tiny fraction of how much is spent on TV. So AOL is trying to appeal to advertisers by making its ad sales a little bit more like ad sales work on TV. It's teaming up with Nielsen to give advertisers a kind of ratings similar to the ones they use for TV and different than the way that online video is normally sold online, which is um, based on clicks and impressions. It's a big overall trend in online ad dollars. It's, it's to move the, the, it's this hope that we can move the money that's being spent on TV, which is way bigger than what's being spent it's on, enormous. on online. It's enormous, let's be honest, it's um, enormous. It's very big, uh, and it's not coming here yet, and there's a prediction that it'll come here yet, but the idea is the, the ad guys are reluctant to do it, so how can we make it easier? So that's why AOL is doing this, Facebook is trying the same thing, mm -hmm. Comscore is trying the same thing, I think you're gonna hear and more about and it And how this is this gonna work? Because we know, we know with Nielsen, it's, it's, it's sort of an estimate based on sampling of, of who watches it. Is that how it's gonna be with AOL video? It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be an estimate based on sampling, statistically significant. Right. The, the they're going to use the same formula that uh, TV uses right now. They're going to guarantee um, the advertisers a certain audience of a certain size and a certain uh, demographic, mm. which is the way they're used to doing it when they buy TV ads. Right. It's actually, it's actually a less precise way of measuring audience. It's sort of the tyranny of the internet. It's, it makes it easier to measure the expectations for sort of what, how many eyeballs you can get are more precise. And But actually, TV buyers sort of like the idea of saying, I don't want all that detail. I'm going to spend a big chunk of money. You guys go get the audience for me. And, and is that going to be based on clicks or going to be based on survey data? Um, it's not going to be based on clicks. It's at all, at all. So the sample is not going to be clicks, the sample is going to be people who they've selected to be on sort of, if you like, panels. It's a shift away from, from the clicks model that's the way it was sold before. Okay, and do you think, um, Peter, you've, you've watched this for a while, do you think, do you think that's going to catch on? Uh, everyone is pushing very hard to make it work, and if it simplifies the ad buyer's job, um, hmm. that's a big deal. So we'll see. But you're going to hear a lot about it this next couple weeks. Actually, there's a bunch of conferences going on, and this big Facebook again, again is, is pushing a lot of this GRP buying. So you may it may actually take off this year.